serious? So guys, the Atom RC Swordfish FV Fixed Wing Airplane. Right, an Atom RC Sword again. 1200 millimeter, so uh, uh, a little bit over one meter in width. Length 810 millimeters, almost a meter. And uh, this is the FPV version, if all is well. I ordered the FPV version. You can have this, uh, this airplane as, uh, well, FPV or a line of sight version. Mine should come, we'll see, should come with a full FPV package. No receiver and no transmitter, obviously. Yeah, so, okay, this is uh, exactly how I received mine, as you could, can see. And also, in case you don't know, Swordfish or Atom ARC rather, Atom RC. What is Atom RC? RC? You might not have never heard of Atom RC. Well, it's actually a sub company of Skyzone. Skyzone, they are well known for their goggles, right? I've had uh, Skyzone goggles for the longest time. Uh, very nice product. Airplane from Atom RC slash Skyzone. Okay, so let us see what we received. All right, that is how the Adam RC Swordfish 1200 comes packaged. We've got some screws here, okie okay, okay. and we've got a, a wing which is wrapped in bubble wrap. And let's open this one up. And as you can tell, hopefully, the wing comes mostly pre-assembled. Motor is already in place, hinge already in place, servo already in place, even the link is already in place. And uh, there's an LED over here already in place, wiring. Uh, look from the looks of it, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but the wiring is a little bit loose. I'd say put... Uh, a length of uh, clear tape over this wire otherwise it'll be flopping around yeah okay and um, okay so over here you've got an xt 34 the power of the motor probably yeah the esc is probably yeah i see an uh, electronics board over here hopefully you can see that as well the ESC or the speed controller for the motor is in this uh, cowling, in this hen engine cowling. And we've got some uh, controls, uh, tr control pinout over here. So, yeah, from that uh, you can tell that uh, there's no soldering or weird connections. And also you can um, easily remove the wings in the field for transport. And I must say, this cord. You tell me what uh, you think. Pretty low cord or narrow cord. Yeah, interesting. Should make for a, a reasonably fast plane as the cord isn't super thick either, the wing profile. Huh, okay. So we've got uh, no surprise, we've got another wing. And uh, probably uh, the same, so I won't bother you with that. Next thing in the package. So far everything is well protected with bubble wrap and foam blocks. So that's nice. Oh, that's uh, okay. We've got uh, one canopy, but that's an alternate canopy actually. As you can tell, there's already a canopy on the plane, so this will be more or less uh, your action camera canopy, I'd say. Or FEV, whatever you want to mount on, on it. Alright. Our fuselage, also wrapped in bubble wrap. The only thing I was uh, well, missing was an extra outer box. Um, yeah, the plane itself is uh, well protected in the box, but an extra outer box would have been nice. Mine looked fine, but yeah, you know how it is, right? Okay, so yeah, this is um, where the where the wing will hook into, obviously, and we've got that uh, multi-strand connector. 
and probably a an, uh, wire with an XT30 for our power. Yeah. Come on. There. Yeah, okay. So hooking your wings up will be fairly simple, right? Uh, okay, so canopy, it looks sporty and futuristic. Yeah. And landing wheel, very, very nice. You've got a thumb screw to open this uh, bottom hatch to get to your electronics and your flight controller. I'll show you uh, in a second. And another thumb screw to get to your LiPo bay and maybe receiver bay. And a GPS already installed. Okie dokie. Okay, let's first see what else we have. We've got some more packaging material. Um, we've got a uh, LiPo strap and some wiring, presumably to hook in your receiver. And okie dokie. We've got a wing stay or a wing spar, a glass fiber, not carbon fiber, glass wire, uh, glass fiber, sorry. And that should be just fine. That should be just fine. Okay. Then we've got some other plane parts. Um, this plane will be, uh, and you've seen that uh, from the videos, uh, obviously, of or the pictures. But this will be a V-plane or a V-tail plane, and it'll uh, sit like so. Yeah, okay, so um, the servos for the tail are already in the fuse slash, so there will be no servos in the tail section. And you will have to hook up the control rods to these uh, control horns. Yeah, and what do, do the hinges feel like? The hinges feel reasonably supple. You don't really have to work them in before installing uh, the electronics and the linkages and, so, and stuff. Some planes come with very stiff hinges that you will have to work in a little bit. Otherwise, you might uh, burn up your servo. In this case, not so much. Not really needed. Then we've got a user manual. And you know what? We'll have a look at the user manual in my assembly video. I'll do a separate assembly video. Yeah, all right. And we got some decals. Nice. Dutch RC colored decals. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, in case you didn't re realize uh, my logo, my YouTube logo is uh, white, red and black. Okay. And one other little bag with some mounting things for cameras and cowling and such and that's it yeah that's everything that came out of our box all right let's have a closer look at them hatches of the fuselage again a thumb screw and also uh, for the rest of the assembly uh, for this plane this is not uh, the assembly video but um, i've seen very little uh, things I would need uh, tools for maybe only for these uh, control rods for the tail for the elevator and rudder that's the only real thing I I think you'd need tools for but we'll see in the assembly video all right in the fuselage you find some extra hardware motor mounts which um, yeah presumably for the non RTF version or plug and play version, buy and fly version. You've got uh, one propeller, uh, two propeller, three propeller. Okay, so you've got two propellers and two spares. That's obviously nice. And are they all the same propellers? Uh, yeah, 70, 42. So seven inch propellers. This plane comes with obviously well all the same they are probably counter rotating and uh, clockwise rotating yeah you've got uh, two sets of counter rotating and clockwise rotating okay and then you've got a, a wooden plank as your lipo tray with a marker a centimeter markers that's definitely nice and an xt60 over here for your power yeah, and I'm not completely sure what uh, kind of LiPo this plane would like. 
Um, definitely bigger than say a 2200 4S. 4S at least. But I'd say like a 3300 4S. That's uh, from the looks of this uh, LiPo Bay that should work out very nice. Um, also, uh, am I missing the FV setup? Yeah, looks like I'll have to uh, <laughs> have some words with uh, SkyZone about the FV setup uh, being missing. I have FV setups. But uh, yeah, if you order this plane, be sure to uh, order the version you want, obviously. Then at the bottom, we've got another a thumb screw. By the way, the top hatch, oh, there's more hatches and stuff here. Okay, interesting. And okay, yeah, sorry. Here is our Atom RC branded flight controller. Yeah, and I will do a separate video in the, uh, how to set it up. Uh, and we'll see. I have no idea at this point. But you've got uh, a complete auto flight flight controller over here. Yeah, which uh, looks to be more capable than this plane needs. Right? There's a lot of uh, uh, connections that aren't in use yet. And you've got a USB-C connector over here to set it up. And a buzzer, that black thing over here is the buzzer. And you've got your tail servos over here. Yeah, okay, pretty simple, re really. And uh, yeah, so again, I had thought to be getting the FV version. But um, yeah, I, I guess I'll have to use uh, this canopy to mount some FV gear. Um, can you mount the FV gear in the nose? Not from the looks of it. No, you're really meant to mount your FV gear on this alternate canopy. Okay, uh, you know what? That's it for uh, the unboxing. And uh, again, I'll do uh, an uh, assembly video, <laughs> which should be very simple. And uh, would need any tools from the looks of it. And I'll do a separate video on how to set this up, this flight controller, with your receiver. And we'll do, obviously, a flight test video. And uh, maybe a separate review, maybe I'll incorporate that uh, in my flight video. We'll see. For now, this was the unboxing. And I'd be, I'd be interested to, to uh, hear from you what uh, you think. What do you think of this Adam RC Swordfish Aeroplane? Yeah, uh, for now, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.